Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to 60 Seconds. I've been wanting to play more and more of this game because it is amazing. And in this video, we're gonna have our wildest runs yet. These were both the most lucky, unlucky, and just generally exciting runs we've played so far. And I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Well, let's hop into the game. Let's go. Oh, okay, let's scout real quick. Okay, we got a family member right there. Family member, where's Timmy? I see gas mask and a bunch of useful stuff here. Also, the suitcase. I want to get the suitcase. It's super far away, but I'll grab it anyway. I grab the suitcase, grab this. Uh, oh my god, there's so much- wait, this is the wrong side. There's so much food here, though. Wait a minute, this could be huge. It's food very close. Grab all of that. We want all the family members, because if we can survive with everyone, that would be, like, the ultimate best mission or best ending we can get. I want to do either twins or cat ending to that. I need to go start grabbing my family, man. You start grabbing my family, or they're not gonna come in here because I know Mary Jane is like three slots or something. All right, let's take Mary. Come here, bug spray. We should grab some food too, huh? We have like barely any resources. Timmy, 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 come here. Hello, Timmy. All right, grab this. Grab some food. I think I can grab four more things. I don't. I don't remember what we have right now, but we'll hopefully have enough. Let's grab all this food right here. Yes. Yes, and one water. Go fast! Go! All right, we did it. That was pretty good, I think. I'm not exactly sure what I got, but hopefully it was enough. I think we got all the... <laughs> I think we got all the family members, at least, which is a good start. Day one, here we go. I think we got radio, we got the suitcase, which I wanted to try out the suitcase because people were telling me that you can go... Oh my god, we got way more than I expected. We have five water, five soup... Spy soup that or was that because we had a stock shelter uh, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast That was a close one as long as we're all together. We can make it work down here We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you our shelter used to be fully stocked But somehow we always found a better way to use the stock supplies instead of leaving them for an emergency Once we had a soup party another time we needed a rifle to help our neighborhood watch in a vicious fight against raccoons uh, luckily, some of the supplies were left untouched. We got, whoa, we got this, the lock, as well as the harmonica. Good thing we grabbed that suitcase. What we found inside will definitely prove useful. Oh, interesting. So the suitcase already has been useful. You guys uh, gave some good tips in the comments last time. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Let's see. Uh, we got, so let's uh, do some inventory. We got gas mask. Amazing. We got bug spray, harmonica, checkerboard. So we have all four ways of defending right so the axe can defend against bandits the gun the harmonica uh and the law can also defend against bandits plus we got the map what are we even missing we're missing the the, the scout book and that's basically it dude holy shit we are stacked okay anyway uh let's check what we're doing on the first day obviously no one is eating it's day one get out of here oh, we're missing a med kid and we're missing cards okay there are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker so we thought hey why not play some games they're not just for kids, you know? All right, play some games. We're missing the cat. Yeah, we're gonna get the cat later. Uh, potential cat ending. Cat ending or twins ending, which people were telling me. I mean, we found that out last time. Oh, we don't have ammo. I don't even know if you can find ammo. Uh, apparently, I missed the twins ending last time because we were being an asshole. We killed the grandparents for food, I think. Uh, which we needed it more, okay? It was it, I wasn't evil. It's just survival of the fittest, okay? Which apparently when you become evil, you will not be saved by the twins anymore. So today we're gonna be a good boy. Uh, we played Truth of Dare when it turned out we only kept asking questions and the most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough games for now. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Okay, well, we can just check over here if everyone's okay. No one is gonna be hungry. We should send someone out on an expedition or we could wait because we have so much food. Apparently this is a mechanic. Uh, last time, if you remember, I got super annoyed by the bandits because they were just coming every four days when we reached like level or day 50, they were just coming back to back to back to back and we got absolutely overwhelmed by the bandits. We did actually manage to win in the end, but the reason there were so many bandits was because the more you go on an expedition, the more bandits show up. So if we can postpone going on an expedition a little bit, we can actually uh, have a fewer bandits along the way, which we're gonna be going until like day 60. 
60 so we should probably do that so we're gonna wait until like day four before we do an expedition maybe every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly there isn't much we can miss so when a single brick fell out from the wall revealing a tight opening our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench we should probably check that hole out and see what the source of that smell is we can do it there's a good chance we're gonna become is everyone gonna become sick if we do this wrong that would be so terrible Let's just do it. What's the worst that could happen? Don't be sick. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. Everyone's fine. Oh, no. They're by radio. <laughs> you son of a bitch. We approached the hole cautiously and peeked inside. What happened next nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent, a reptile or whatever. This crazy mad creature was, was leapt out and started jumping all over the damn shelter. It was everywhere. We couldn't catch it. Before we do it, could do anything, it pushed our radio off the table and went back into the hole it crawled from. We never saw it again. All right. Fuck you guys. Uh, Ted's thirsty. So we learned last time that we can let them be thirsty at least for one day as long as we give them water on the next day, which we're going to have to ration. So we're going to do that. Everything is shaking. Oh, come on. Already? <gasps> Cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back it would seem perfectly normal it's either another nuke or a quake either way we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces so we can save only one thing so i guess it's kind of a mixed blessing or it wasn't that bad that the radio died because we were gonna lose a ton anyway i think i'm keeping the ma mask the the flashlight is basically useless this is already a pretty terrible start gotta say we had such a good shelter and now we already lost two things in two days what the hell <laughs> you piece of crap okay well by flashlight this game is rude uh we got the to the gas mask in time just before it was about to get smashed by jumping pieces of furniture that was one hell of a quake let's try to stay positive this was hardly anything compared to the nuke that dropped recently you know the you know the one right ted looks like he's got one okay yeah everyone needs to drink you need to drink i think everyone needs to drink so we can just click this uh all right we should do an expedition now let's do an expedition I think we're gonna send Timmy out there. The fly is annoying. I know I can click on the fly. I don't see no fly. I got an achievement for that last time. We could. See, I, I think we're gonna try the suitcase and see if that works. Uh, the trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it. So we're saving some food. Yet for some reason we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. All right. Uh, do, do we not? I've heard that there's a really funny event if you... This is... I've been getting some tips. Uh, oh. Did I get him? I think I got him. I think I got the... I got the... <laughs> the fly. I've heard there's a really funny event if you have Mary Jane and you run into giant spiders. <laughs> I don't know if this is the one. Um, stop these goddamn flies. <laughs> we can just save it. Uh, I don't know what we need this for though. I think well, this is not spiders, right? Let's just use this or is this gonna do that? Sure Yeah, all right, we'll save it. Sure. Uh, this is gonna be bad. You guys are gonna get me killed, man I did the expedition, right? Oh, there's a cockroach <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Yuck a mutant cockroach. Look at that guy. <laughs> He's our friend uh, oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We're already... F we already feel all dirty. Okay, this maybe wasn't the best idea. You guys fucked me up. All right, everyone's fine. We're going to send Timmy out there. So let's see. If I use this suitcase, I can bring three things. Okay, then. We're going to send Timmy on the most stacked expedition of all time. Uh, what does he need? He needs uh map for sure if he doesn't come back i swear to god i will never take you into the shelter ever again you're gonna take the map let's do this just see what happens you're gonna take the map you're gonna take the gas mask and you're gonna take the gun he's gonna go full if he doesn't come back i swear to god <laughs> He better come back with a ton. Oh, yeah, we need to mark the map. Where do we want him to go? I mean, he can just go into the middle of the city and loot the place. He's going all American style. Uh, let's do it. All right, Timmy. You better you better come back with a ton of stuff. <laughs> He's going on a video game expedition. I could just give him the checkerboard. Now we can give him... Uh, he took, like, half the shelter with the van. There's another one. Oh, no. Are we going to die to cockroaches? There's... They're multiplying. 
Uh, Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. I will kill him again. Even if he's already dead, I will kill him once more. If he leaves with... If he doesn't come back with this amount of shit, man. Okay, uh, you're hungry. You're hungry. You're not even hungry, dude. Mary Jane's a tank. What? Blah, blah. It's been a while. Oh no, our radio. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If only we had a chance to tone it, tune into some emergency radio broadcasts and learn a thing or two. Well, this is for the military ending, which is actually the ending we achieved last time. Miraculously, everyone was starving. Everyone was dying. Somehow, Dolores managed to survive long enough for the military to save her. Today, hopefully, we'll at least save two people. Or maybe even more, if we can. <laughs> is there actually going to be one more cockroach now? No, no, it's only two cockroaches. It's fine. It's just two cockroaches. We'll survive, right? Hopefully. Uh, they say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Okay, everyone is just hungry, right? I'm not gonna give you any food if you're just hungry. Uh, why am I getting all these events with stuff that I don't have? I guess I don't have much in the shelter anymore anyway, but... Uh, we have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country, so there's a good chance she's still configuring her cow counting machine and not worrying about nukes raining down on her hen house. Too bad we don't have a photo of her, or do we? We put some photos into books a while ago after the giant coffee spill incident. Okay, well, we don't have that one. So far, we've just been getting random events we can't even interact with. Uh, they are not multiplying anymore. The cockroaches are fine. They're just, they're just our, our mascots now. And so we are left with no photos, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. Okay. They're already getting depressed and it's only day eight. This is not going well. All right. I'm giving everyone food now because they're all, uh, I, I'm giving them everything. Actually, you don't need it though. Mary Jane can stay hungry for one more day. We learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you will end up with more roaches. That is not ideal if we don't do anything about it. We will all end up glowy just like them. I kind of want to see what happens if you don't do this <laughs> and just let them multiply. Let's do it. Let's, let's meme around a little bit. It's fine. Glowy ending. <laughs> what? There's no problem though. They're still there. Uh, living with roaches can't be too bad, right? Even if they're stealing your pillows, socks, and wallets, why would roaches even need wallets? And that smell is horrible. All right, maybe, I mean, maybe they're going to eat all our food. I don't know. Uh, you're going to be, you're still only hungry. This is fine. Uh, we keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads, anyway. I want cake. Someone wants cake? You're not going to get any cake. This damn fly is even in the bunker. When we have nothing left, it's driving me insane. Holy shit, he's back! He was so fast! He did fuck up our map, though, but look at the amount of shit he got. Uh, let's see. Who knows? Maybe the new world will offer new opportunities, and it won't be that bad. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. That was insanely fast, right? I mean, it, I, maybe it was six days or five days? We decided to finally check what we can find between the rubble in our ba own backyard. Our poor, poor lawn and flowers... Once the object of desire of the whole neighborhood now reduced to nothing more than radioactive ashes covered by debris. There really isn't much left there. The only tree that's left is completely burned out in a hollow area inside the dead husk. Some mutated tree three-tailed squirrel squirrels made their home they're pretty good at collecting stuff hope they don't mind us borrowing a few things we used to barbecue here almost every weekend the barbecue itself somehow found its way onto a power line in front of our house and it's unreachable our garden table is mostly destroyed under bits and pieces of charred wood we found a few things that could prove useful playing cards the garage still has two no we lost the suitcase the garage still has two nails left two walls left but most things inside are gone. Not even the bicycles made it through the blast. But weirdly enough, the baskets installed on top of them did. We found some leftover supplies there from our last bicycle trip. Okay. Damn it, we really like that suitcase. Well, it's gone now. Okay, so we lost the suitcase and the map, which is a little unlucky. But we did get a huge haul. We got, I mean, two food, two water. It's not the best one, Timmy. You could have really done better there, but it's fine. We tried out the suitcase and we'll try it out a, bit, uh, a bunch more as well. Uh, let's see. You're hungry, tired. Um... Apparently fatigued, so I got feedback on this as well. They can get tired and they can get fatigued. Apparently fatigued is permanent, which is rude as hell. <laughs> okay, you're starving. You need food. 
Uh, so we don't care about Timmy much because he is going to be tired for a while. Uh, so Mary Jane is probably going to be the next person going on a trip, but we can't go today. Uh, Mary Jane insists she doesn't feel complete without her musical instrument. If she hit it well, maybe her tuba is still somewhere safe in the ruins of our house. A reminder of her hobbies and what life used to be might cheer her up a bit and make the situation easier for her. Should we let her go out for a quick look around the house? We're going to lose our minds if she plays the tuba, dude. <laughs> I kind of want to do it, though. If she actually plays the tuba the whole thing, it's going to be so fucking annoying. That'd be so funny, though. <laughs> I'm doing it just for the memes. I want to see. She's going to super die, man. She dead? Oh, she's actually dead. <laughs> she, she gone? Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Oops. Mary Jane got very excited when we agreed to let her look for a tuba. She says if she can't find the instrument, she'll set up for anything else she can find, like some sheet music. We sure hope the tuba didn't make it. We're pretty sure we prefer radio static or even the sweet sound of silence. Okay, well, we'll never see her again. Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. Okay, well, uh, he's tired. I get it. He's also starving still. Did I give you food? Or no, I didn't. Uh, they're all fine. Okay, we're not gonna have to feed her for a while. Uh, maybe that'll be bad, though. One thing you don't expect is a band- I love how many events there are, man. Uh, one thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? They might provide some quality entertainment. The problem with this game is that I have too much fun with it. <laughs> so I want to see all the crazy events. <laughs> but I feel like this one in particular, we are rich. So if we let them in, they're going to steal from us. And then they're going <laughs> to take it, give it to the poor. So we should probably not do this. If we had less money, like next time when, we, when we're a little bit more poor, we'll do it. But right now, we have so much that they're definitely going to steal from us. So let's not risk it. Uh, and I don't even know. That's the thing with these. You never know what, if you made the right choice. She actually back. She actually made it. What the hell? Uh, we didn't answer those peculiar calls and kept the door locked until the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure we want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. What? Um, nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. She didn't do anything? Mary Jane is just starving now? What did she do out there? She didn't find anything. <laughs> Wait, what? All right, then. I guess you're eating. Uh, you're drinking. You're drinking and eating. You're drinking. God damn, our supplies are dwindling fast. Should we go outside? I think we wait one more day. Is she tired? No, she's not tired. I think we go on day 14. What's going on? It seems that for every cockroach we squash with our boots, two others take its place. It's time to do something about it before we get completely overrun. Okay, this might be, like, the end. If we don't do it now, it's gonna be completely screwed up. <laughs> but I really want to see what happens, though. It's only... It's only day 12. Let's just see it through. We're already here. I want to know, man. Wait, it's still fine? Why would... Huh? Is this... Is there, like, a roach ending? Although they're a bit glowy, and we're pretty sure they spread, spread diseases... We have no means of fighting those damn roaches. Best just get used to the situation. Better the roaches than bandits or the communists. Um, okay then, I guess they're still here. Starving. You don't seem to be stealing our food or anything. All right, well, it's fine. We're gonna go tomorrow. We're gonna set up an expedition. If there's anyone, uh, yeah, we don't have the radio. Don't even wanna think about it. The government people are coming and we should keep our ears open. We don't have a radio, so stop fucking talking about it. We're getting so many of it. Oh. Oh, it's the phone. Wait, the phone gives you the cat, right? Maybe we do cat ending? Or is this twins? No, this is twins, right? If there's one thing we need to do, it's you no know, radio broadcast. Uh, it's either that or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first options are a bit more sane. What? Uh, and there's one thing we need to do. It's to use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast. We don't have a radio. What do you mean? Yeah, let's do twins. We want to do this one. Because uh, we're going to be a good guy today. Hopefully, maybe. Sometimes we'll be an asshole, though. Uh, I'm going... Are we setting up an expedition? I think we should do. Uh, let's do an expedition. 
And then we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should if someone go and answer it? Absolutely. I will be sending Dolores. She's going to use her motherly charms to get us to safety, to safety with the twins, hopefully, maybe. She was the one who survived last time, so she, she knows what's up. Did that work out? <laughs> When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller to introduce themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will come back to us soon. So if you now become evil in this time, they will never call you back. So we're not going to be evil unless we have to. <laughs> unless we'll have to. Unless we're out of supplies somehow. All right. We're actually saving so many supplies, though. All right. We're going to send... Uh, let's do a girl power mission out there. We're gonna send Dolores out there. Uh, we don't have the suitcase anymore. So we're gonna send you with the... I think I want to send you with the gas mask, honestly. Just have you not be sick. Like the, like, the earlier people get sick, the worse it's gonna be in the long run. Because we're only at 15, 15 days. So let's send her with the, with the gas mask. We're probably gonna have bandits, like at our doorstep fairly soon but i've not been doing expeditions on repeat which is what i did last time uh dolores is on her way to the surface let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound uh we have dehydration hunger and some dehydration okay we're running out come on man we have the map you can read it don't be stupid <laughs> we had the most curious visitors today one of them was missing this making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other while his companion was pretending to ride said horse they claimed to be on a very important important quest to seek some magical cup only they lost their way in the wasteland they asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts no i wish i could do this is this some monty python bullshit <laughs> what the hell? lol all right well i'm sorry we can't i wish i could do that man that sounds so funny <laughs> Oh, dude, look at his hair. His hair is glorious. Why can't you use this map? Come on, man. It's a little dirty. It's fine. Uh, although we tried to decline politely, the guests were clearly offended. They galloped away, waving their wooden swords and screaming something about cutting down shrubberies. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. That is definitely a multi fine reverence. All right. Anyway, um shrubbery a <laughs> uh, shrubbery these cockroaches aren't playing around their very territory and they're leaving us less and less space every day we need to do something about it okay i get it we'll do something about it. i know you guys want to see this but i also want to keep going we're already at day 17 now i don't even know if it's going to be good enough to fight back now maybe it's you guys really want to see the all right sure we'll see the cockroaches here you go if we die it's on you i'm blaming every single one of you uh nothing happened our time will come, but for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to this living situation. They're here. We're here. Let's make the best of it. They're only cockroaches, after all. They've been eating up so many of my events, though. Starving. Uh, okay, you got everything going on. We are actually still decent with food, but it's going to be running out fast. Stop with these events I can't do. Last night, the whole shelter was woken up by Ted screaming bloody murder. He was terrified, shouting about s something about tentacled radioactive mutants on top of his face. Turned out it was just Mary Jane stepping on his head in the dark. Ted took it very personally and demands medical care. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? We don't have... We wouldn't have done that anyway. Is he going to go crazy mode? Is he gonna have his sock? No, he doesn't have his sock. Ted and Mary Jane refused to apologize and move on. Instead, went straight into a state of paranoia. He seemed to think Mary Jane had it out for him. But Mary Jane claimed it was Ted's face that hit her foot and not the other way around. <laughs> Looks like both of them will sleep with one eye open tonight. Oh no, they're gonna be tired. Are you kidding me? Can you guys not be so stupid? What is this, by the way? Oh, yeah, we need to get a radio. We need to wait for the from the friendly wastelanders. We were sure we looked through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seed, a plant seed. We should plant it to see what happens, but we need a bottle of water for that. Should we use it? Definitely. I want to get plant. <laughs> That's, it's such a waste, but I want to get the plant. <laughs> Are we going to have a... Oh, we have a plant in the corner. It's by my head. I'll keep you guys updated on the plant. Let's go. It's going to grow slowly, but we're going to have to keep watering it, man. 
Here goes nothing. Soil, seeds, water. We'll see what happens. If, maybe we'll make some food. Uh, let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flour. Mary Jane seems optimistic, though. Uh, hopefully. You're dehydrated. This is terrible. Don't all be dehydrated, please. You're starving. <laughs> oh, no. Can she come back? Dolores, please. Uh, we can keep sitting on our backside. Stop with this radio bullshit. Uh, here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought that the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We... We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Well, sorry we can't. So, goodbye. Dolores will not be dead. If she's dead, I'm going to become the Joker. Uh, she's getting worse and worse by the day, Mary. What the hell? Is, is that because she did the plants? She looks, like, full of dirt. Uh, if there's one thing we need to do, it's to use her... Yeah, I get it. This is the same message as before. Stop it. I don't have it. What could I tell you? Uh, she's fatigued from doing... Okay, wait. So, so people said that fatigue doesn't go away. So, you can do, like, a fatigue event with every one of your characters. Like, this is the special event for Mary Jane, maybe, that makes her fatigued, and then from here on out, I can't get rid of that anymore. I'm assuming. Because uh, that's what people said. I don't know what that means, though. She's probably going to be worse in expeditions. Uh, Timmy claimed he couldn't sleep last night due to Ted's loud, incessant snoring. Ted angrily retaliated by making quips about the size of Timmy's ears. <laughs> what the hell, which enraged Timmy even more? He's desperate for a solution. What can be done about this? Dude, Ted is fucking unhinged, man. He's fighting with Mary. He's, f he's bullying Timmy. What the hell, Ted? <laughs> what a father, man. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, is she coming back? She's back. What is, she has no water. Are you kidding me? You re we really needed water, Dolores. What are you doing? Um, Timmy eventually settled for jamming checker pieces into his ears. Not what the doctor would order. What? Epezu. Thank you for the super sub, by the way. Uh, but it did the trick. He slept well, although one of the pieces is missing. This morning, is it still stuck in his ear? And more importantly, can we still play checkers without it? We lost the entire checkerboard because he fucking put, put it up his nose? Are you kidding me? We were glad to see the Loras come back safely from the wasteland. We spotted an untouched store with many products inside, even food different from tomato soup. A real treat in these post-apocalyptic times. When we were about to reach it, a terrible noise made us stop in our tracks. Something heavy fell straight from the sky, crashing into the store and destroying it completely. After dust settled, we realized we were looking at a spaceship, just like in Timmy's comics. Could it be a saucer man from Mars? Then why does it bear an American flag on the side and a logo of something called Asteroid Citizen? So apparently, this is a reference to a game called 60, 60 Parsecs, right? Which is another game from these developers that people have been recommending me to play. Uh, I would love to check that out. Uh, could it be an infiltration? Crafty little alien buggers. Under a bunch of metal space junk, we found a tired old teddy bear and some supplies. The bear looked disappointed. Oh, we got a map! We ended up turning him around. We could not handle his judgmental button eyes. We got two food. Someone stuffed a bunch of items into a big sock. Not sure how the sock made it through the crash, but it somehow succeeded at protecting the supplies inside. We were tempted to take a bunch of jewelry that was rolling around the debris, but what would we do with it? Instead, we adopted some things that survived. We got it back. Are you kidding me? We, we lost it and then we gained it again? <laughs> That survived thanks to being stuck in an empty space helmet. How did this fit in the helmet? How big is your face, dude? The vehicle down the street looked like someone's work in progress. We observed it from afar. Who could the owner be? We kept our distance for the time being, but we may want to take a closer look in the future. This could potentially be our ticket out of here. We need to do that ending too. Uh, the like uh, this ending, right? Where you build a tank or something. All right. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> so we lost it literally in the same text here. We lost it. And then we gained it. So she got a bunch of stuff, but we really need some water, man. We're gonna... Can we go on another expedition? We gotta go on another expedition with Ted now. Because he's been making fights with everyone anyway. Uh, we can give everyone food as long as they... Oh, come on. As long as they don't drink too much water. Uh, I'll give everyone food. I'm feeling... Uh, I'm feeling uh, generous today. These cockroaches aren't playing around. They're very territorial and they're leaving us... What is going on with this? This is just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. <laughs> Should we just... I mean, we're committed now, right? It would be a waste to stop it now that we've been going on for so long. Uh, what the hell? 
Everyone's sick. What have you done? The plant's growing, though. What have you done, chat? Why did you make me do this? Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us, and there's not much we can do about it anyway. Maybe one day we'll manage to convince them to pay the rent. <laughs> did you guys make... Did you guys just make them sick for no reason? You pieces of crap? All right, well, Ted, you're going out there sick. Whatever, you're already sick, so you don't need a gas mask. What are we giving you then? Uh, we're giving you cards, checkers, axe. Do we have the gun still? We should do the... Well, let's actually do the gun. Maybe he can shoot something. We'll give him the gun. Does anyone need anything? Uh, well, this is terrible. Map? But we knew... The map was involved in some other thing. Cards? Why would cards help? Map makes a lot of sense, but we tried map like 1,700 times. Uh, so let's just do this. We'll leave the cockroaches. <laughs> we're already committed now. But it seems like we're slowly dying. We really need water, man. We're gonna be so out. At least Ted doesn't need water for a while now. All right, Ted left for the service. We hope you'll come back soon. Let's hope. Uh, we don't have a mech kit. You are dehydrated. Oh boy, this is going terrible. Uh, this is this is gonna be bad. A note on our doorstep took us by surprise. In it in or in it? No, it said it in. <laughs> But it's, I'm assuming it's supposed to say, in it, we found a request to bring some supplies to a set location. Signed, friends? Friends? What kind of friends? We don't know who these people are, but here's our chance to find out. They're promising to make it worth our while. Should we help them? Definitely, because we have so much food and no water. Maybe we can trade? We're going to fall for it. Maybe it's fake, but uh, I'm, I have food and we're going to run out of water. We're not going to see the end of this food supply anyway. Is that Mary Jane or is someone else sick as well? No, it's just Mary Jane. She's going to make everyone sick, man. The plant's not growing. Um, the authors of the note turned out to be the twin siblings. A brother, twin siblings, a brother and sister. They greeted us happily and took us to a small tent where they started handing out the supplies we brought to a small group of hungry survivors. Between them were people of all ages, including children, the elderly, and even a mime. The sublings shook our hands, shook our hands, and proclaimed, "This is the beginning of a new friendship." They promised to contact us again soon. Couldn't we get some water? Okay, uh, this is potentially terrible. We'll see. Uh, you are getting quite hungry, sick, thirsty. Well, whatever. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there was any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal. Oh, we know this is the dog. A pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness, and their owner started growling in a most terrifying way. We only have moments to decide what to do. Don't do anything, because it's doggy. It's Pancake, right? Pancake the dog? It's your friend? Yeah, Timmy got a beautiful haircut. Oh, the plant! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Plant's growing. We felt it was too risky to face whatever horror awaited in the shadows, but we did any what any sane person would do. We shut the door. Oh, we need a flashlight there? Uh, to meet the dog. Okay, that's good to remember what we need to get specific endings so we can set up our bunker if we want to go for like the dog ending, if that even exists. We're gonna have to um, get the flashlight. We're doing plant ending right now. I don't even know if that's a thing. Uh, the creature was gone the next morning. Okay, well, Mary Jane is getting... is dying, basically. She's dehydrated. Oh, no. We are on our last water, man. Plants are usually green, so it shouldn't be too worrying that Mary Jane's plant is a bit glowy. It shines with a healthy greenish color. Maybe that means it will bear more fruit or vegetables or whatever those twisted things hanging from the plant are. Shall we collect them now? No, we're gonna we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for it to grow slightly more, and then we're gonna be juiced. We're gonna get so much food. Investment. <laughs> we're already day 27, man. It's flying by. No, it died. Maybe we, maybe we, we avoided dying to poison plants. Though I thought it was gonna grow bigger. <laughs> what do you mean? I've been scanned. We felt it wasn't the right time to cut the plant down, but we were wrong. It pretty much crumbled into ashes during the night. Our guess is that this was a new type of plant. If we discovered it, we can give it a name. Maybe something like Three Mile Chernoshima. <laughs> Chernoshima, really. Aren't there any drugs? We No, we don't have any drugs. Um, well, this is terrible. Your fatigue note too? How did that even happen? Is Wait, what? How did that happen? I didn't see that until... Wait, did something happen here? There has to be some water left. 
Dolores is pretty fatigued. How did that happen? Dude, this is going uh, a little dicey. All right, everyone. Ted really needs to come back with some water or it's over, man. Uh, if there's anyone... She only went on one expedition. What do you mean? I mean, I guess she went to the phone. But if that tires you out, that you're not cut out for surviving the apocalypse. If there's anyone who can rescue us from... You, we don't have a radio. Stop. Stop with the radio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> noted. Do not open... What did, what law make us lost the radio? It was the... Looking in the brick in the wall, right? That made us lost, lose the radio that we then proceeded to need for like 50 events down the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need this. Okay. We need food. Uh, oh god, <laughs> this is so bad. Does anyone else? This is the last food we, the last water we got. All right, a sleazy looking trader carrying a scruffy. So this is gonna give us the cat, but we're already going for the twins ending, and we need to save our food. So I'm sorry, but cat's gonna be next time. Uh, we can't do the cat. We're not gonna trade the bag because we're just out of food. We would have to skip twins, uh, and become evil to do cat. I don't know if you can be evil while doing cat ending. I really hope Ted's coming back, because if he's not back, then it's all ogre. <laughs> Come on, Ted. No! Ted, you son of a bitch. Our grandparents always told us to never buy anything sight unseen, and we're not about to start now. Gone are the times of yard sales. We can manage without whatever junk is in that mysterious bag. Ted has been a sound far too long, and still he has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. Ted, you suck. You killed us all. You doomed us. All right, we're gonna have to send someone immediately and just hope that they survive. Uh, so much, wait, she's fatigued, but that's it. Oh my God. Okay, wait, he's also fine. You're gonna be thirsty though. Could we send Mary Jane? She's just gonna die though. <laughs> so rude, man. What the fuck? Yeah, I know you can, you can avoid food, but we are out of water now. So everyone's gonna die. Uh, let's see. It seems that every cockroach we squash in our books, two others take its place. It's time to do something about it. We're not going to do something about it because we're going to die anyway. Might as well see what the hell happens with the cockroaches. <laughs> God damn it, Ted. It's just going to be more people sick. What the fuck is with these roaches? <laughs> I don't understand. You guys were very adamant about it, though. Our time will come, but for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to this living situation. They're here. We're here. Let's make the best of it. They're only cockroaches after all. Okay, we're fucked man so she's dehydrated which means that she's gonna die for sure but she's also so everyone's fatigued so it doesn't fucking matter so we could send mary jane out there uh but then she probably dies or i mean she probably dies right <laughs> but i guess we have to send her because we can't feed her so she's gonna die no matter what it's just that the problem is that if she doesn't come back then we're fucked forever if we send dolores wait what am i doing uh you don't need food if we send dolores then we could survive with dolores i think we need to send her like i know mary jane's most likely gonna die but she's not gonna come back from the mission so if dolores dies she's the last parent then the game will be over so we have to send dolores out there so then she doesn't have to be fed for a while and hopefully survives we're gonna give her the map even. All right, should we give her the map? I think we give her the gas mask and just pray. <laughs> this is our Hail Mary. Well, let's see it. Did I have to feed anyone else? Should I feed her? No. All right, well, here, we go. here goes nothing. Let's see it. Do it. I think this is the only way we can potentially win this round, but it's only day 31 and it's already this terrible. Uh, this was not ideal. P planting or giving the plant water was probably our worst mistake. Uh, I mean, it only would have la given us one more water, right? We had so many supplies, and we even did a correct... How did we get so screwed? <laughs> Dolores is on her way to this. I guess the game is just very hard. <laughs> let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Yeah, let's hope. All right, you're dead, for sure. Uh, you're thirsty, which means you're also dead. During our latest expedition, we ran into a smelly man in, man in torn up clothes. We recognized him as an old bum named Jim who used to roam the streets for our town before the bomb fell. Now he roams the wasteland and it looks like he followed us home. Now he's banging on our door asking if we want to buy a rock. Well, do we? We gotta buy the fucking rock. We have to. It's our, it, we gotta do something. There's, otherwise, we just die. So let's see what happens. You want this? Can we get the rock, please? God damn it, Jim. Oh! Mary Jane's gone. Well, at least she doesn't need... Is she just gone forever? Rocks? We love rocks. Mary Jane used to have a sizable collection of minerals, and we were all really fond of it. Even the simplest radioactive rock is a good start for a new collection. The one we chose is pretty... Pretty... 
and Jim didn't even want anything in return. He told us it brings luck and what that we should cherish it. Seems like things are really going our way today. Are you sure? And Mary, okay, so Mary Jane just ran out of the shelter. So this is basically she would have died, but children don't die. They just run away. So rest in peace, Mary Jane. Uh, she's totally not dead. Trust us. Uh, we'll give you some food. You're the only one that this is so fucked up. Looks like that rock we got from the old man a while ago. A while ago? It was literally today. What are you talking about? Does bring luck. Jim visited- What is going on? <laughs> Wait, what? Jim visited us again today? It was literally yesterday, game. Uh, but instead of rocks, he was carrying a big bottle of clean, fresh water! <laughs> Oh man, it's a roller coaster. We don't know where he got it, but we were pleased when he shared some with us. It should keep us hydrated and moist for a while. Why did she leave, dude? We had water. Wait, do we have water? Wait, oh, she just gave him water. Okay, nice. Wait, that's good. He's gonna not be thirsty for a while? <laughs> MJ left right before that. What the hell, man? Why did you do that? <laughs> you just waited one more literally afternoon. God damn it. Timmy is no longer thirsty. Timmy is no longer hungry. Timmy is rocking, dude. He's just fatigued. Whatever. Uh, oh, we do still don't have to... Okay, next time we really need the damn radio. Because not necessarily matters that, like, we don't want to do the military ending. But the problem is that this is, like, every day you get an event. And so many events are being, like, eaten up by this event getting it over and over and over again. So it sucks that we don't have a radio. So we can't get rid of it and get new events i mean sometimes there's no event in a day also someone knocked on the door hello uh is if there's one thing wait what someone knocked right do you need food you're already thirsty again what in the fuck <laughs> the twins are back and they need our help again no we don't have a mech kid their group is getting pretty big and it's time to start building next last time you needed an axe for this man they already chose a place and were about to start, but lost. A lot of their people got injured in a recent raider attack. They're asking us for meds so they can nurse their group back to health and get to work as fast as possible. You piece of crap. Why didn't you want the axe this time? Dude, this game is like actually messing with us so hard today. Come on. They ask so many things. Maybe they'll ask someone. I know they're going to ask again. Get wrecked, uh, fly. I don't want you today. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Why? You just got a full clean bottle of water and literally the next day you were already thirsty timmy what the hell i thought you were you, you're betraying me the roaches seem to get more organized with every passing day at first it was just one or two of them but nowadays we see small columns of them marching through the shelter we need to deal with the situation before their civilization becomes superior to ours let's do it roach army <laughs> is she gonna be gone probably no, he's still here, but he's sick now. <laughs> is it actually going to be a roach ending? Are you fucking kidding me? Living with roaches can't be too bad. Even if they're stealing your pillow, socks, wallets, why would they even need wallets? Okay, well, Timmy is dead. He's dehydrated. He's hungry. We'll give him his last meal, even though he's just going to run away anyway. Uh, what's going on? Medkit! We don't have a gun! Are you fucking kidding me? When we heard a knock on the door this morning, we held our breath in fear, but we soon heard children's voices coming from outside. We decided to open it up. It turned out the voices belong to a pair of Girl Scouts. They used to sell cookies, but now they have branched out and they offer other items too. Why, Ted? Why did you lose the gun, you son of a bitch? I mean, we might as well trade it for bullets. It's better than fucking playing cards. Whatever, we'll see. And now we're gonna need the playing cards. God damn it, Ted. You fucked everything up. You made everyone upset. And then you... Oh, well, he's dead. Okay, so... Yeah. Oh, she's back! <laughs> Wait, she actually got water too. Are you kidding me? Uh, the girls were very kind and their prices were more than fair, so we gladly accepted their offer. How very clever of them to keep their business alive even after the apocalypse. We're impressed. We're glad to see the Loris come back safe from the wasteland. When we came back to the shelter, we were relieved to discover that it was still locked. The padlock carries signs of an attempted break-in, but whoever gave it a try did not succeed in getting inside. Sadly, the padlock is in a sorry state and we can't really use it anymore. Wait, oh, she also got a radio! When our scavenging trip was about to end with nothing, we remembered there was one place where we haven't looked yet. One place that is literally on, on our doorstep. Trash cans in our neighborhood. Why do people throw out water? Who cares? Finders keepers. All right, thank you. Working radio as well. And we got a rifle. We just need... Dude, this is actually the most tragic run of all time. That is the second time that one day sooner 
we would have saved another person one day earlier timmy wouldn't have ran away because he would have had water and we could have traded the fucking gun for the damn med kit so we could have done the twins ending we're actually getting so fucked man <laughs> This owner probably bought a new radio and got rid of the older one. We should buy a new one too when all of this is over. That spa pacifist guy from around the corner threw out his rifle. It's ours now. Wonder if it still works. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Okay, so now the bandits are gonna start attacking us. All right, well, rest in peace, Timmy. Do you need anything? You're hungry and tired. All right, this is so such a disaster. We can't send her out. She's gonna die. Uh, oh, we finally got a good look at this vehicle down the street. A tank. No reels, but it was reinforced with metal grills. This one right here. But where were the weapons? That kind of vehicle needs a weapon. Let's get out there with some equipment and find something fitting. Well, I mean, we can at least try this so we can... Because this is permanent. This sticks around every playthrough. So we might as well, since this playthrough is very likely ending in a tragic disaster. <laughs> might as well get some something permanent for it. She's, she messed up the map, but that's fine. What happened? Did we get another part? Looking at the map gave us an idea. We visited centuries-old battlefields on the outskirts of town and pushed an antique cannon all the way back to the vehicle we found. Dude, Dolores is a champion. The map somehow got all torn up in the process, but our project looks th truly majestic. The trip was very tiring and resulted in some injuries. There are a few experiences more horrifying than having a cannon drop on one's food foot all right well she is so screwed she's hurt she's fatigued she's hungry she's tired goodness gracious okay but did we get a new part we got a cannon we got a cannon for the tank <laughs> let's go well she's too tired to go outside so she's gonna die wouldn't it be fantastic if you could just get out and leave walk the service like we used to smell the fumes and pollution uh that's the scent of freedom we miss so at least we're getting this i don't know what this is doing but whatever all right she it's so screwed man why Are the cock can we get cockroaches to to take the place of ted and then they go on an expedition for us can we train them uh as long as we're safe we can't stay down here Dolores is gonna be super screwed. She's hungry. She's thirsty, but we need to wait. We can't do expedition. Oh, here we go. The road just seemed to get more organized. Is this literally leading nowhere? This has to lead somewhere, dude. We're not doing it. We're gonna let them be. This is like the seventh time we've let them be. <laughs> what the hell is going on with the damn roaches, man? <laughs> she's sick too <laughs> are you fucking joking our time will come this you guys fucked me man there's no point in this it leads nowhere our th the, the, they're here we're here if this leads to an ending this is the most ridiculous oh my god most ridiculous quest line of all time uh what if we die and they take over that would be very funny here we go now we can use the radio to finally get rid of that event not that we're ever gonna get the military believe in the roaches all right we'll see we'll see uh we made contact the military is out there and they're coming for us all we need to do now is wait patiently we're never gonna make it the soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this help us on the way we just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order okay well let's hope it doesn't break we she's fine totally fine ever since we jumped into our fallout shelter we've been wondering about that other door in the shelter should it even be there where does it lead it's high time we check it out sure do it it couldn't be worse than staying here and just dying because we need water right now the fuck did you shoot did you miss i heard a, sh a gunshot we figured the best way to be sure nothing and no one jumps inside the mysterious room was to bash the door open and start firing dude dolores is damn crazy when the smoke was gone we were able to assess our operation. The room was empty. We hit nothing but the walls and we barely dodged one ricochet gone bad. God damn it. Okay, did we actually lose the bullets, sir? No, we didn't. We didn't. It's fine. I don't know what the hell Dolores is doing. She's losing it. All right, you're fine. The last time we went out on an expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank just sitting there in the open. It looks damaged, but it may contain useful supplies. Shall we send someone? We got it. We're so screwed, but we got it gonna take a few days or oh we got water it worked we got water and food looks like army rations also consist mostly of cans tomato soup and bottled water unless someone else left the supplies in the rack tank let's go wait that was actually huge wait maybe she can't survive 
She's in agony? What is it? Oh, because she's in pain. Wait, what? Oh, she is so screwed. <laughs> that actually worked, though. Uh, I'm gonna give you some food and water just in case that can heal you, potentially. Uh, we're gonna not do it. It seems that every cockroach... Okay, well, let's see. Is this actually gonna lead somewhere? It's the most un <laughs> unhinged event of all time. Um, what? Our time will come, but for the time being, we just have to adapt to this living situation. There, here, we're here. Let's make the best of it. Yeah, I get it. Same thing every time. Also, someone knocked on the door. You're hungry still. You're not thirsty, but you're like everything else. Uh, what is going on? Our friends are back. What we need, what do we do? I swear to fuck. Okay, we got to need a med kit. Can the Girl Scouts come back and trade the damn med kit for us, bro? bro? <laughs> we need that. She's in agony right now. She's so dead, man. Uh, we would have loved to help them out, but we don't have it. They don't have what they need. All right, you're s fatigued, tired, sick, agony. I've never seen that word before <laughs> in this game. So this is what it comes down to, sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go out and check it out? She and her children probably didn't even... If we don't do that, we, we can't do this because we will never get the twin endings if, if we do this. Because they, they will not like us anymore. So we have to just go all in on twin ending here. Because that's the only ending that's going to be in time. So we're not going to... I'm dead. Never mind. Okay, well, it didn't matter. <laughs> what are the roaches going to do? Are the roaches actually doing anything? Or is it all pointless? We're no bandits. Sure, we need supplies. But, at, oh, but not at the cost of others. We won't bother these people. A man who takes canned tomato soup from another is not worthy to taste that soup. Let's just make hope that everybody else out there is as decent as our family. Dolores suffered with her injuries for far too long. When the infection spread, there was nothing we could do. Well, are you kidding? Are they at least going to do something? Look at this, bugs. Bugs, bugs. What have you done to me, chat? Bugs? Bugs, bugs. Bugs, bugs. It's like I'm playing uh, the latest indie game. Uh, there's just all bugs everywhere. What the hell, man? I didn't. I, I'm dead. How do I? How do I? Am I is it over? <laughs> what the fuck, man? They didn't even do anything. I thought there was going to be like a huge cockroach here. You just killed me. All right. Well, that was uh, quite something. Let's try that again. Maybe we'll run Ted absolutely stinky last time. Let's be Dolores this time. Try to collect as much or as many supplies as possible. Uh, look at our tank, though. Our tank is coming along nicely. Also, we got a pizza on the roof. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's so many references. We definitely want the... Wait, the book. Let's get the book this time. Uh, get both of these. Boom. Come on. I want food as well. Uh, water. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. There's so much food here, that's amazing. Okay, we're, we're gonna pick that at the end. Let's pick you up right now. Get the gas mask. Get some water. Come on. I'm like walking into stuff all the time. There's so many things so far away, man. They set it up in a way where you cannot possibly grab everything. They're these pieces of shit. Why are you so far away? We need this. We need the family though, and we need a radio. We need a radio. We need a radio. We need a, a mech kit. There's so many things we need. We don't have any time, man. Uh, where's we need this? You're super heavy, bro. Why are you so heavy? Oh, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Where's Timmy? Wait, did we already get Timmy? I think we're. Did we already get Timmy? Uh, I don't know. Where's the mech kit? Where's the mech kit? Get the gun. Uh, mech kit in the toilet. Get this. Go, go, go. Yeah, we already got Timmy. Okay, get all this food. We have so not not enough water, man. No! I was right there, Dolores, please! <laughs> Why did you just die for the hatch? <gasps> you son of a bitch. All right, well, we'll try again. <laughs> that was a bad spot anyway. Fuck you, Gabe. <laughs> God damn it. We're trying, okay? I'm trying my best, but you gotta push the limit. Otherwise, you're just not gonna have enough supplies. All right, so being to Dolores sucks because Dolores is only two spots, whereas Ted is three spots. So bringing Ted to the shelter takes just... So we're going to be Dolores because Ted... <laughs> I guess Ted is a little bigger, so it's harder to move around with him. Um, But it seems like it's just bad to be Dolores. I'm sorry. Let's grab Dolores. The suitcase is so close. Wait, this is amazing. Okay, grab all these things. Boom. 
wife. Yeah, look, she's only two spots. There's bullets right there. We grab bullets and we grab the suitcase. We grab this. This. Go, go, go. Wait, there's so many things close by. Wait, this is huge. This is a great spawn. Yes. We need to hit Timmy as well. There's that. There's the... I want the flashlight. Cards. Uh, some water. Some more water. Yes, we got some food. Wait, this is huge. We do need a lot of food, so let's grab a full inventory worth of food and water. Um, saves some time, or then we don't have to do as many expeditions. We need Timmy, obviously. Wait, we're going to be able to do one more trip, I think, here. Grab that. Go, go, go. And then we need water. We need water. Many water. We need a mech kit as well. Where's the mech kit? Mech kit right there. Boy Scout book. Mech kit. Water. Huge. Huge. Can we grab the gun, though? Uh, can we grab one more thing? I can't. I can't. I gotta go. This is pretty good, though. I, I think that was a pretty good haul. I don't know how much food we had. No gun this time, but we do have the axe, which is gonna allow us to defend ourselves. We didn't get a radio, but, like, you can't... I didn't even know where the radio was. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I couldn't grab it. That's fine, though. We had many things in the close-by rooms. I really like how... Oh, wait, we did have a radio. Wait, or did we get it luckily? Wait, <laughs> are you kidding me? Uh, all of us made it to the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. We got one checkerboard. Well, looky here. One of us must have hid this inside the suitcase a while ago. It was so lucky we took that suitcase. We got a radio. We got so lucky. <laughs> Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep with cans. We'll even talk about cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. It's the best stock shelter we've ever... This was great, man. We got so lucky with that radio. Look at this. We just don't have much food. I think we should send someone on an expedition ASAP here, especially if we have the suitcase. Well, yeah, I think so. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think it could be much, much better. In a way, not that, not that much has changed. Okay, good first day. A good haul. Let's see. We got a mech kit, so that's gonna be uh because we want to do the twins ending, right? Let's just hyper focus on the twins ending. No stupid I mean I don't have bug spray this time, so maybe we're not gonna be able to get rid of the roaches this time. <laughs> God damn it, those stupid roaches. I mean they didn't they weren't a problem for really long. Um We'll see. Uh, who knows? Maybe the new world will offer new opportunities and it won't be that bad. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. Mary Jane didn't... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, time to ration supplies. Okay, so everyone's fine. That's good. Good start. What is the event? Let's see. Wouldn't you know it, our dear Mary Jane keeps a diary. For some reason, she was hiding it in the scout book we keep in our shelter. We have no doubts what she need, what needs to be done right now. Each of us must be assigned a role, and the diary must be read aloud, right? No? Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Should we? That seems so rude, man. Why would I do that? <laughs> Uh, we could do an insane expedition with, like, Ted and a bunch of- I mean, Ted is not very good at expeditions, though. Maybe Dolores is better at expeditions. This just seems insanely rude. We're gonna wait at least one day for- for- to do an expedition. Because doing it right away is just gonna attract more bandits. Um, we do need- what, what did that do? That's just gonna make her mad, right? Mary Jane thanked us for respecting her privacy. She then ripped out and tore all, all, all of the pages, set them on fire, stomped on them, and fed them to a mutated rat outside. A bit excessive, but we all feel better now that it's been dealt with. We still wonder what she wrote about us, though. What the hell? All right, then. All right, we're not gonna do this yet. We're all fine. Uh, the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging these conditions could result in radiation sickness. I mean, if we have the gas mask, that doesn't pose a problem at all. Uh, we've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. The book is OP. <laughs> he would should have been far from where the bombshell, but no one knows for sure. It would be great to find out. He always looked on the bright side of life, so maybe we should too. But it's not easy. Say, didn't we have a photo of him tucked away in one of those books? Yes, let's go. All right, let's have everyone at least see this before we send someone out there. We're trying just different strategies, right? If we try the same thing over and over again. There's a picture! A picture on the wall. Look at that. Uh, bingo! Our scout handbook holds more than a ton of knowledge useful in times of apocalypse. There are some photos stuck in between its pages, along with some crosswords. We are saved. Only a few of them are solved. Uh, nice. Now, they're all probably dehydrated. 
So if I do one day of dehydration, we'll immediately make them leave, right? It's actually insane. Uh, Mary Jane used to be cheerful, but lately she's feeling a bit down. She clearly misses her music lessons. She keeps humming her face favorite classical pieces, imitating the sound of the tuba. She said she would die for a chance to play it again, which may very well happen if we let her out of the shelter. If this would help bring a smile to her weary face, maybe we should consider letting her out for a short walk. We're not going to do this. We shouldn't, though, because instead it's radioactive outside, right? Wait, I can't do... I can't even do this. Unavailable? Uh, I mean, we could, and then she's going to get sick, but we're not going to use the mechat on her. We could send her out. Um, I don't know what's... I mean, I guess. <laughs> Mary Jane, she's going to get killed, though. You guys are getting her killed. She'll go crazy. Oh, she'll go crazy if she stays. Yeah, true. All right, true, true, true. I mean, she's probably going to be useless regardless. It just sucks that she had this event so early. Oh, she's gone. Oh, she is going on an expedition. I see. I can't give her the gas mask. Uh, Mary Jane got very excited when we agreed to let her look for a tuba. She said if she can't find the instrument, she'll set it for anything else. She can find, like, some sheet music. We sure hope the tuba didn't make... So I guess this is like she's going on an expedition just without resources. So she's probably going to come back sick. Sick, or I presume. Uh, we're pretty sure we prefer radio static or even the sweet sound of silence. Yeah, I hate the tuba too. All right, is everyone fine? Everyone's fine and not even hungry. Let's go. Uh, Timmy is not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. Of course. Why wouldn't you do that? You're just rude. Five days without food and water. Well, last time you, we let them one day without while being... Wait. Huh? That worked out totally fine. Last round, when we let them be di dehydrated for a single day, they immediately left. So uh, that was definitely... We can't let them be dehydrated. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We need really need... Okay, she's thirsty. That worked out totally fine. Okay, she's dehydrated though. Wait, that was actually fine. <laughs> Wait, that was, that was huge. Uh, it looks like the area... So you definitely want more water than you want food. Food is not as important as water. Okay, so it's day six. It's still irradiated. Going to the wasteland is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. But we're not going to get sick because you're going to have a damn gas mask. Let's let's wait one more day. We'll go on day seven. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was May. Oh, here! The, the galloping horse event that we couldn't do last time. A galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other. While his companion was pretending to ride said horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup. Only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. Let's do it. <laughs> the night of me. What happened? What did I do? Oh, we got a gun. They seem friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. Let's go. That was huge. We just got a gun. Nice. All right. Everyone's a little hungry and thirsty. Okay. We're going to do an expedition now. Seems about time. What's that glowing in your pocket, Timmy? Oh, no. Mutated ants. They, they're terrifying little mandibles. Almost gave Dolores a heart attack. She wants them out. But Timmy says it's the beginning of an atomic ant farm. One of them has to have it their way, but who? Obviously, Dolores. Are you insane, Timmy? Get those mutated ants out of here. They're going to bite you and make you sick. Or maybe you become a superhero. Who knows? <laughs> Is he going to be mad now? Uh, on the topic of atomic ant farm, Dolores put her foot down several times. She swatted and stomped furiously with a look of glee on her face until all the insects were dealt with. Timmy was mortified. Oh, whoops. Is he crazy now? Oh, no, he's just dehydrated. And you're fine. Wait, this is actually going quite well. We definitely need to send someone away, though. All right, so here we go. Who do we send? We usually send Timmy. He's pretty cracked at expeditions. Um... Ted was terrible last time. We could send Dolores. We could send Mary Jane. Also seems kind of strong. Timmy is kind of just cracked at expeditions, though. <laughs> just send Timmy with the suitcase and a bunch of stuff. Mary Jane is also good. She's actually totally fine. She doesn't need any food. You know what? Why don't we do Mary Jane? We'll give her the suitcase. So she obviously gets the gas mask because she needs to be protected. And what do we give her besides that? We give her the map and we mark the map. I think that's always a gimme. But she's probably going to break the map. But we already did the Monty Python event, right? Uh, 
Timmy is dehydrated. Yeah, we'll just do Mary Jane. Let's spice it up. Because usually we send Timmy. Let's do something else. Uh, I want to keep the axe and the med kit. Because we're going to need that for the twins ending. Because the twins ending, I think, requires... Um, like, I've seen it require an axe. And I've seen it require a, a med kit. So I want to keep both of those. You can right-click on the items. I can right left them. Wait, or you can click on them to give it to him. Uh, keep the map. I mean, the map is... Maybe the Boy Scout book. Flashlight? Honestly? That might be a good setup. He doesn't have a weapon, though. Cards for trading? That could be. The flashlight? I, I mean, the flashlight doesn't do too much. Let's do the flashlight and then mark the map. Uh, so last time we sent them here. Let's do... There. Because we need to... If we get a really good mission now... I don't know if the game has like a pity system or if you're almost out of food, it is more inclined to give you food. Flashlight for the dog, that is true. All right, sure. Well, we'll save that for the dog and then we'll give you instead, we'll give him cards, whatever. Let's see what happens if we give him cards. It's not that bad if the cards get, or uh, no, we're not sending Timmy, we're sending Mary James. Uh, people keep saying, you know what? For those people that keep doing the fucking, keep saying the checkerboard, I'll send the checkerboard. Let's see. No, we did that already. We've never done cards. We did do checkerboard. Sorry, we're, we're still locked on this. I'm doing cards. Cards for military? Yeah, some, but we're not doing military. We're not going to do that ending. Okay, so hopefully she'll come back with a ton of supplies because we're really going to need it. Anyway, she's got a ton of stuff. What's going on here? You're hungry. You're starving. You're starving. Uh, ring, ring. There we were thinking we would never hear. Oh, here we go. Suddenly a phone started ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's a phone booth across the street. Someone should go answer it. Dolores has never failed us on this event. So let's do it again. So we're starting the twins ending now, which is the one we want to get. So <laughs> let's see. Hopefully we'll actually have the right stuff this time. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. Introduce himself to survive from the nearby town of Hill. We had started exchanging information with the caller's court church. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they, get, they will get back to us soon. All right, there we go. Uh, same thing every time. Hungry. That's fine. Timmy is bored out of his mind and he won't leave Ted alone. First, he wanted to play tag. Now it's hide and seek, which are both terrible ideas for a small shelter like this. Ted is in a bad mood and just wants to be left alone, but Timmy isn't giving up. How about charades? Um, if we do this, they're probably going to get tired. But if we don't do this, he might get angry. Uh, I don't know. But what are they going to do? <laughs> I mean, let's just I don't want them to be tired but I don't I just don't know the outcomes of these events right that's the thing that's also the fun part of it uh what is charades I don't know what is that like a card game though we don't have cards what is or is that like a word game because if it's just a I forgot what this is if this is you act out things uh it can make them thirsty he's going insane let's just do it okay if it's acting that shouldn't be too exhausting right hopefully I don't want them to be tired because we really need them to go on expeditions. Let's see. What 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 effect did that have? Are you fucking joking? <laughs> That's fine. We already used it twice. Charades is serious business, but we never expected the game could be this violent. My brother in Christ, how do you make this violent? Ted could not guess any of Timmy's comic book character names, which just caused Timmy to mime and gesture more and more wildly. His flailing arms knocked a few things off the shelves before he finally gave up. Timmy, how did you break a book by knocking it off a shelf? How violent are you, bro? <laughs> you son of a bitch. All right, well, anyway, Timmy, you suck. Uh, oh, here we go. We started to peek outside for just a minute minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing we were about to stand out we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes this is why we kept the flashlight so we can meet pancake the dog let's go doggy time <laughs> is it gonna be in the shelter i forget no let's go uh we decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight guess what it was a dog the poor thing seemed tired so we let it stay with us for the night the next morning we opened the door to let it out it still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. Let's go. Um, oh, God. You're dying. You're mega dying. You are somewhat dying. And you're also mega dying. That's unfortunate. Uh, now, we do the radio just to get rid of this, right? Because we get this one over and over and over and over again. Uh, so, let's do that. Hopefully, Mary Jane will be back soon. Speak of the devil. 
What did she break? She broke the map. She broke the suitcase. She broke everything. She broke the gas mask. I've never had anyone break the gas mask. What the fuck? <laughs> Good news. The government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asks everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here soon. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. The majority of the local gas station was destroyed. Gasoline, gasoline reserves blew up too and probably did more damage than the atomic bomb. The only thing left intact was the cashier's booth along with some cars and the gas price board. War or not, prices are still growing every day. <laughs> are you kidding me? A few water bottles? A few? You mean one? We're scattered around the cashier's booth. None of the explosion damaged them, though it is funny how that pipe's shadow got burned into the wall. That's funny. Uh, during our expedition, we stumbled onto a weird bar. We could have sworn it wasn't there before. Inside, we were greeted by an old man sitting at one of the tables, sipping dirty water. He invited us to a friendly game of poker, promising a reward. If we win, well, we beat the old guy and got a scout handbook as a prize. We said our goodbyes and walked out of the bar. We hope to find a place again someday. Okay, so we got the scout book back, I guess. <laughs> Don't you dare, Timmy! <laughs> Don't even think about it. Uh, damn it, we really like that suitcase. Well, it's gone now. Damn it, our gas mask was damaged. Our map really took a beating. How the fuck did you break everything, Mary? We spotted some sort of vehicle just down the street, but we couldn't get a good look. Okay, blah, blah, blah. That's insanely annoying. Okay, what's going on? You're hungry, starving. You're starving, but you're not even thirsty. Okay, you're just hungry. We're gonna... We have to send someone back out there again. Uh, let's see. Maybe? What do we got? We have not... We have to send someone. So let's send someone. Um, let's feed Timmy, because Timmy is probably gonna go. I think Timmy just does a better job at Expedition. What can I say? That was such a bad one. Um, we are not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out. E eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it go to it. We can't let it be in here when we sleep. The fuck? <laughs> so, gun would be so much harder. The gun is... Gun would be harder to hit. But the axe, if it breaks, it's actually a potential soft lock for the twins ending. So we have to use the gun because we need the axe to chop down trees or whatever for the twins sometimes. So let's shoot it. Oh. That was a very muffled pop. Okay, you broke... See, that's why I used a gun instead of the axe. Because you somehow managed to... How did you even get it this broken? <laughs> Dude, these people are actually maniacs. What the hell, man? Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chains. Good for, good for us. You guys are absolutely unhinged. Uh, hungry, hungry. Okay, you're still hungry. Didn't I just give you food? Okay, so let's send Timmy out there with what? Because he doesn't, we don't have much. Honestly, it's Timmy's scout book. Let's give him the scout book. I know you guys are going to be like, dude, don't, don't give him the scout book. I'm giving him the damn scout book. You can't stop me. He's out. Uh, maybe the dog comes by again, right? One time to give us food or something. Um, Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Well, I sure hope he comes back. Otherwise, we're going to be screwed. Uh, didn't last time on our second expedition, we already had someone die, right? That's so rude. Uh, okay. Hungry, thirsty, hungry, thirsty, dehydrated. Okay. At least we got a lot of water. What do we got? Yesterday during charades. Stop doing charades. You guys are breaking everything. We learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti-disestablishmentarianism. And it has left Dolores sorely disappointed. She insists on home or rather shelter schooling Jane a little. Sure. What can go wrong, right? Are they going to fucking do math so hard they break our med kit somehow? I swear to God. <laughs> it didn't break the med kit. Uh, Dolores does not matter, mess around. What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math rev revision. Followed by a short physics course and ending on tinkering with random objects in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of her shelter has improved today. What did we get? We got nothing. <laughs> Are they going to get fatigued from that? That didn't do anything. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to fix something in the shelter? Did we actually get... Did, we, did the game bug? <laughs> it said they fixed something. It didn't do anything. 
What do you mean improved? <laughs> you liars. All right. Anyway, uh, dehydrated, dehydrated. Good news, everyone. The government just announced they will be dropping crates filled supplies in our areas. Finally. Mary Jane, you are, why can't I do the option? Send Mary Jane the fuck out there because she broke the mask like a dumbass. Uh, we should head out to get those, to those crates as soon as possible. Grabbing some protection gear might not be a bad idea. Can I go anyway? <laughs> God damn it. She broke. That's the, actually the first time I've ever seen anyone break the mask. That's unbelievable. You suck. <laughs> Uh, it was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we used stay, decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. God damn it. It's fine. We will we'll be fine, right? We were about to take a cautious peek outside when a furry beast jumped on us. Good thing our hearts... Our hearts were not battered by a fat, heavy hamburger diet. What? <laughs> Because it was our dog friend and not a mutant lurking to chew our bones. Good boy. He seemed to be very hungry. Shall we give him something to eat? We don't have any food, bro. We can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can't. We have to trade it. But we don't need the cat either. Sorry, Pancake. We just can't. We can't give him food. Because if Timmy doesn't come back, it's instant over. So I'm sorry, doggy. I wish next time. Next time we'll do it. This time we don't have enough food because the expedition went terrible. Blame Mary Jane on that one. That wasn't me. That was Mary Jane's fault for giving us terrible supplies. The last thing we're going to do is feed strays when we have barely enough to keep ourselves alive. None of us are very happy about it, happy about it but that's how it is. Yeah, I mean, it literally look at our food. We have nothing. Um, you're starving? So there, we got one can left. It's got, that's like one food, <laughs> one feeding time. It's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions or at least listening to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning into the radio station? Sure, let's see. This sometimes helps with expeditions, right? Someone knocked on the door. Um, hello? We were about to get a weak signal and tap into the government emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Let's go. Uh, I guess we don't need that gas mask after all. Uh, let's see. Who needs what? You don't need anything. All right. No one needs any... Oh, you need water, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, this morning, we were surprised to find a letter on our doorstep. It was not signed, and it contained a location and time for a meeting tonight and a few sentences. Okay, so this is the come unarmed and send one person. We have no idea who could have sent that, but we're guessing this is our chance to find out. Are we sending some someone? Yes, we're going to send someone because this is probably the twins. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. We're going to send Dolores. Because Dolores was on the phone, right? So they'll recognize Dolores. Because if we send someone else, they might not recognize her. She is fine. Uh, it's true. It's all true. There really are others just like us. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time. And we were greeted by a friendly looking group of survivors. They're being led by twins, a brother and a sister, who seem to be friendly enough. They asked us some questions and promised to stay in touch. Please, Timmy, I need you to come back and not die. I need you to come back and not fucking die, Timmy. <laughs> you re if you come back with two cans of food, I will forever be in your debt. We felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The feng, sh feng shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. Well, let's do it with the flashlight if we're going to do it, which I guess I have no choice but doing this. <laughs> Did anyone need food? Dehydration. I almost let him die. Whoops. Dehydration. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Should definitely check that. God damn it, man. Oh, he's back. Dude, Timmy is cracked. Let's go, Timmy! He actually got food too! See, Timmy is the best. Timmy, absolute MVP. He may be sick right now, but he's the MVP every time. Uh, and he didn't even lose the book in the process. What a damn champion. We inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We were surprised to find out that the metro station wasn't exactly abandoned. It's inhabited by a group that uses bullets as currency. They were armed and not overly friendly, but there are no bandits outside. Uh, but bandits either. They allowed us to take a look around as long as we didn't touch any of their stuff. We wouldn't pass any opportunity to get some more water. So when we found the toilets, we did not hesitate to fill as many bottles as we could with that murky irradiated liquid. What a treat. Two water? Did the, this is him with just one fucking book. Mary Jane with a gas mask. Uh, fucking, what did we send? We sent her like three different items. And they, uh, she didn't give us anything. Or she gave us like one of each. 
He gave us two with one thing. What the hell, man? Near the metro entrance. Is this a Metro Exodus reference or whatever? Um, near the metro entrance, we discovered a tomato soup vending machine. Of course, we left most of our change in another pair of trousers, but we took whatever we could. Let's go. There was a small maintenance area next to the ticket booth. We were hoping to find a bit of soap. To finally- What? What the fuck? How is he this insane? He got bug spray and the suitcase? <laughs> Holy fuck, Timmy. How does he do it? <laughs> this man is insane, bro. Finally wash ourselves. The only thing we could find there was a can of bug spray. The group living at the station had thrown a bunch of suitcases, backpacks, and bags to form a big pile and called it a barricade. We carefully took out a particularly nice looking suitcase. It was quite a, quite tricky when we came close to when it we came close to collapsing that house of cards, but thankfully we did not ruin the whole thing. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers and we should be more cautious next time. Okay. The vehicle down the street looked like someone's work in progress. We observed it from afar. Who could the owner be? We kept our distance for the time being, but we may want to take a closer look in the service. This could potentially be our ticket out of here. Okay. That was the absolute most cracked expedition ever. Two food, two water. We got a suitcase, bug spray, uh, and he didn't even lose the book. That was actually like wild. <laughs> Okay, so you probably need food now. You are sick though, but that is... We need to keep the med kit for now to see if it's going to be required for the twins ending. If not, we're giving it to Timmy right away. But we have to just like hold out for a little longer. We know that sickness doesn't immediately kill people. It just makes them a little bit more thirsty, I think. We just have to make sure that we don't need it. Because uh, otherwise we're locking ourselves out of an ending which will potentially get people killed. But we're in a great spot right now. That was really sorely needed, those two soup cans, so I appreciate you. We should immediately send someone else out there, though. Uh, Ted, probably. Ted is just not going to come back, though, like last time. Um, but I feel like we have to send him out there. Because if we don't, first of all, we're not going to get more food. Second of all, we're going to have to feed even more people. So we have to send someone out there. That is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. What does it say? We're not certain about the situation on the surface. A trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. I mean, we... If he doesn't come back, it's not that bad. We can't send Dolores because she's fatigued. Right? Yeah, she's... I don't know if fatigue ma matters for... Um, we're going out. I think it does. Timmy got spotted. Uh, Dolores is good. Yeah, but she's she were followed last time, so it's risky. Maybe we wait one day, but we need to like we just. I I know you guys want to like sit in here, but there's no pro there's no option to sit in here because we're gonna run out of food. <laughs> like we can't. Um, Mary Jane is tired still, so we can't send you. Fatigue means she's been in the shelter for too long. Okay, so maybe we should send her. Should wait a few days. Okay, we'll wait. Sure, we'll wait one day. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, we don't want this, though. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful, red-haired woman, accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type, who was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the item she brought. Yeah, we're not going to give you this stuff, you crazy. <laughs> I don't want a harmonica for an axe. Are you with the worst deal of all time? <laughs> get, get out of here. Did we feed everyone? Just making sure that people don't die. I think they're not dehydrated, right? All right. That's fine. We'll wait one day at least, and then check what the message says. Uh, what? Beepity beepity boop boop boop. It was hard to turn her down because of that damn cheerfulness, but we did it anyway. The woman seemed a bit disappointed and tried to offer us schematics for some weird gun. We turned that down too. It's not like we have any tools around her here anyway. Her G uh, wait, what was that? There's got to be something with the military or whatever. Okay, fatigued. Starving starving oh man we're running out of food so fast um uh, seems awfully quiet it's outside maybe it's safe maybe it's not we don't know until we go out we gotta go out this seems safe right we're able to receive another message we need the map dude why didn't you fix the map in your damn thing like that event i feel like that event bugged out because it said it's fixed something but it didn't actually fix anything so whatever we were able to receive another message from the government, the military. We didn't want to do this anyway, so it's fine. All right, we're not going to do this because we can't. We'd have to go to a map, uh, but we or we'd have to need have a map, but we don't have that. So whatever. Um, we'll just uh, we'll go for the twin ending, hopefully. It fixes the radio, but it wasn't broken. I've seen it fix something else as well. All right, we were sure you can 
find the location without a map, but we were wrong. Hopefully, we'll get more lucky next time. All right, so who is going to go out there? We need to feed them. So hungry, thirsty. Hungry, thirsty. You guys, Del I mean, Dolores is fatigued, which apparently means she's been in the shelter for too long. We could send her with the suitcase and make her go sicko mode. We could give her all the random junk, like bullets, cards, and... Mm, it makes her just more likely to survive. We really want her to survive. Maybe flashlight? The mask is dead. The book was very good. Let's do the book. Yeah. Sure, let's send her to the... I mean, she doesn't know how to use the book, right? Because it was Timmy's book originally. But sure, we haven't... We've already used the book so much, it wouldn't matter too much if it dies. And this is for trading, right? Um, the bullets and the cards. I don't know. It, it worked last time. Let's try it again. Here you go. What did the cards on expedition? I don't know. The ammo, last time, it was... We could trade it. If they need bullets now, I swear to God. I'm gonna become the Joker. Alright, she took so many things. Hopefully, she'll actually come back. That would be so terrible if she didn't. Alright, you're dehydrated. You're dehydrated. We are so low on food, man. Did me notice it's his old telescope and a pile of rubble on the other side of the street. He got really excited about stargazing again. After all, the night sky is one of the very few things that still look about the same after the blast. Should we let... I mean, Timmy has gone outside with... A single book and came back with a million dollars he can survive for like two feet right like this would make absolutely zero sense if he dies when he was outside for like 10 days and brought back like <laughs> hands full of supplies if he fucking dies here i'm gonna be so sad <laughs> he's sick yeah but he was sick coming back anyway right he's fine what did he get he may return in the morning tired but very happy he says he saw a spaceship flying by, one of the with one with American flag on it. Surely that can't be true. He's probably making things up. Time to grow up, Timmy. Dude, what the hell? Uh, he's tired, but he was already tired, so it doesn't matter. Oh, Mary Jane is hungry, so she's no longer tired. Honey, thank you for the eight months super sub, by the way. Uh, you're starving. Okay, this is okay. Last night the whole shelter was woken up by Ted screaming bloody murder. He was terrified. Shouting something about tentacled radioactive mutants. Turned out it was just Mary Jane stepping on his head in the dark. Ted took it very personally. Ru no. You, if anyone deserves this, Timmy deserves it. You're not going to get the mech kit. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> fuck off. Grow up, man. Knock, knock, knock. Is this going to be the twins? Uh, he's injured. How did you get injured, you stupid? Oh, wait. We got food, though. Mary Jane tried to apologize, but Ted was not having it. He kept lamenting about broken noses and cracked skulls, stumbling around the shelter and gesturing wildly but until he tripped over something and fell. Oh, hey, a soup can. The discovery calmed Ted right down. Wait, it was only good, but he did get injured from it. Whoops. You're hurt. Hungry. Oh, it's fine. Starvation. We'll give him that. A group of doctors knocked on our door today. Okay, this event can heal your entire crew. We gotta do this. It can take, like, up to 30 days for them to come back, though, which is really bad. Um, it would be helpful in refilling their first aid kits. We didn't doubt they were the real deal for a second. They did have lab coats and everything. Shall we help them? We're going to do it, but this could be too too little too late, but it might as well because we have two people. We have sick and we have hurt, so it would actually help a ton if they can, act, okay, if they can do it. But we'll see. Uh... Oh, wait, sorry. I thought we were getting water there. That would have been insane. We asked them for their doctor's licenses, but all of them claimed they left them in another pair of trousers. We didn't dare ask if it was just one pair. If it was just the one pair. We gave them a water bottle and wished them a good journey and better luck with trousers. <laughs> okay. Uh, hungry, fatigued. Uh, so you're fatigued now. So apparently it's because they stay in the shelter for too long, which seems to be accurate because Mary Jane's been in the shelter for a while and she's getting fatigued now. So I guess they want to go out? That gets rid of it then? Interesting. I completely misunderstood what that means. Uh, hungry, thirsty. Hungry, thirsty. You were starving, right? Yeah. All right. That's fine. What do we get? Confined spaces are not... What the hell? Now, not a very friendly environment, and we quickly got into an argument over some trivial things. If this keeps on, we might find ourselves in, in a nasty place. Hopefully not. <coughs> yeah, we're not going to use a mech kit because we want to do the twins ending. Uh, hopefully he doesn't die of infection. We're done fighting, but for how long? Please don't go in agony. Okay, you're dehydrated. No agony, please. 
Uh, dehydrated. Oh, we're running out so fast, man. That's like a full bottle of water right there. Sleazy. Okay, so here we can get the, uh, the, the cat. But once again, we'll do the cat ending another time. We cannot do the cat ending now. Because we're just investing in too many endings at once then. Which is just gonna get us, uh, it's, we're just gonna run out of supplies before we can do any ending. So let's just stick to the twins ending for now. Uh, Dolores really needs to come back with some food though, because this is going terribly right now. If, if she doesn't come back. We have just barely enough supplies to survive a few more days. Uh, we really need her to come back though. If she doesn't, like, it's so brutal if someone doesn't come back from an expedition, man. Uh, our grandparents always told us to never buy anything sight unseen and we're not about to start now. Found out at times of yard sales we man can manage without whatever junk is in that mysterious bag. Okay, whatever. Um, hungry fatigue. Who was? Someone's knocking. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, the first, last time you needed an axe, then you need a med kit, now you need a fucking map? Why do you always need the thing I don't have? <laughs> That's so fucking annoying. If only they just fixed the damn map when they were done. This is so annoying. Siblings have visited us today. They told us we're getting so insanely unlucky, man. <laughs> they told us they were searching the town for a safe place that could, would do well as a possible camp. So far, their group has been living in a tent, but they're picking up more wastelanders every day and they simply don't have enough space. They mentioned that a map of the neighborhood could be very helpful in the situation. We literally have the map. It's just slightly damaged. You <laughs> God. Damn it, whatever, man. Please, Dolores, come back with the map. If Dolores comes back and gets a map... Yeah, Mary Jane completely screwed this run with her bullshit, man. What the hell? If we had a map... Yes, I know. All right, you're starving. Petite, hungry. Okay, this is still decent. What's going on? Ted and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately. Ted, you have to grow up. You're a grown-ass man. Today, they got into an argument about movie characters, specifically who would win in an ultimate battle. Mutated Godzilla or mutated King Kong. It's a risky one for sure. And the debate is heated. Who will come out on top? Well, I mean, to be honest... Wait, let's see. <laughs> we need Ted. Because <laughs> Ted is like an adult. If Dolores doesn't come back, Ted is our only savior. And Mary Jane fucked of the expedition, so... I guess we could give Te uh, Timmy the med kit now. Because... He... Well, we really need to know if Dolores comes back. Because if Dolores comes back... And maybe we'll get the... No, 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 because no, the doctors will come back, right? And then the doctors are gonna save us. Let's save the med kit. We need to. Um, this is everything. Well, we'll just say Ted, because... Whatever. Mary Jane is a... Is... She's back. What did I tell you? Tell me she- No, you didn't have a map! Okay, you got some food and water though, at least. Uh... Oh, she's got another- Wait, what? She kept the suitcase. Mary Jane was so confident about her case. She said she would bet a full soup can on it. In the end, Ted's arguments were just stronger. And Mary Jane begrudgingly handed him a can. We're not sure whether to be grateful or angry that she was- She had a can?! Wait, we got a mask? She had a food can? Hi she was a piece of shit! She- took that on our damn expedition and she hid it from us the whole time you piece of shit you've been lying to us this whole time we were glad to see dolores come back safely from the wasteland it turned out that calling an ambulance is not an option anymore we reached the hospital it's in ruins oh my god but parts of it turned out to be still standing more or less we've decided to go through the rubble and make the best of it the canteen had a respectable supply of tomato soup it looks like this was the only thing they fed their parents now we're 100 percent sure it's healthy there were plenty of bottles of liquid in one of the wards. Peroxide or not, water is water, and beggars can't be choosers. Oh my god, she did good! Well, we, she lost the book in the cart, but that's fine. One of the surviving hospital beds had a gas mask hanging on it, along with a note that read, Wear this, patient smells really bad. <laughs> Those cards we took with us outside, well, they're staying outside. That scout handbook was really useful, too bad it was lost in the expedition. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious. Okay, so that was actually pretty good! What can I say? Uh, Dolores did a great job. You're in agony. Okay, fuck. That means he's gonna die soon, right? Can we just send him out there? He's probably not gonna come back, though. Fuck. Can the doctors just come back and save our Ted? <laughs> agony is like the next level of hurt. It means that he can die randomly every day. We could save his ass. But he's gonna die if we don't do it. Like, if we don't give him the mech, he's gonna die. 
and then you're gonna so we don't need the mech kit for the twins right because we already know and we are everyone is alive at day 31 this is an insane run i think we should save ted just to like see how far we can get with everyone alive obviously or probably someone's gonna die on the next expedition so you're actually able to go out there uh mary jane she didn't do a great job last time but we got her and so we have the suitcase as well yeah we need but timmy is gonna be fine because he's only sick he doesn't die of sick that didn't have sick goes into diseased after like i don't even know like 50 days and the doctors are coming back before he dies of sickness i'm telling you i'm betting two soup cans on this uh what do we need hungry thirsty that's fine fatigue tired starvation uh starvation I'm, I'm not hiding them i promise all right we're gonna obviously do an expedition should we say that the waste that remains unknown maybe we should risk going out after all you only live once i mean we got it because if we don't keep doing expeditions like it's the only way we can stay alive with this big of a group of people because we have so many people to feed if we don't constantly get supp supplies we just lose very quickly because everyone needs food like every few days like in 10 days we're out of food basically so we got to send mary jane here uh Timmy claimed he couldn't sleep last night due to Ted's loud incessant snoring. Ted angrily retaliated by making quips about the size of Timmy's ears, which enraged Timmy even more. He's desperate for a solution. All right, we can break the... Wait, we can't do this? Because we're using it on you, I see. Um, I mean, we can break the checker piece again. We definitely don't want to break the suitcase. That is super useful. So we'll break the checkerboard. We don't really need it anyway. Uh, Coach, thank you for the 1500 biddies. No, I have not seen mutant uh, Mary Jane yet. That's one of the things I want to do, but I don't know how. <laughs> Ed, you didn't even break it. Okay, so Ted is fine now. He got healed both from his sickness as well as his hurt, which was a very efficient med kit. Uh, Timmy eventually settled for jamming the checker pieces into his ears. Not what the doctor would order, but he did the trick. He slept well, although one of the pieces is still missing in the morning. Is it stuck in his ear? And more importantly, can we still play checkers without it? Okay, so I guess we can, because it didn't get removed this time. Lucky. Uh, okay, so let's see what's going on. You are dehydrated. You are starving. You are dehydrated, but you're also going on a trip, right? So we're going to send Mary Jane on an expedition. She's going to take the suitcase, and what are we going to give her? Did we need this for something? What did we need this for? For the military, right? But that's probably too late anyway. Um, What the fuck do we have? She's going to break it. We need to give her something. Like, she she can redeem herself. She's going to ruin it again. She's got to redeem herself, and we need to get a good result. And she's, like, the only healthy one. We can give her the flashlight, and we can give her the bullets again. Uh, Dolores is... Uh, tired, so we don't want to send her. She can't even be sent, because she's in a bad spot. We're not gonna... I mean, I guess we don't really need the axe. Uh, bullets. Because we need the... What do we need? We need the map, right? I mean, we could send her... Honestly... I mean, I just really want her to come back. Bandits? But the risk is that if we send her with an axe, we don't have anything to defend the shelter, so we need to keep the axe. So we'll just send her with a flashlight and bullets and a gas mask, whatever. We'll see if that works out. Hopefully it does. <laughs> you can't send Timmy. He's sick. And he's probably also tired. So let's see. This just sounds like a plan and then we don't have to feed her for a few days. Uh, let's hope that she comes back with a lot of stuff very soon. She also wasn't sick, right? So hopefully the doctors come back and save Timmy. <laughs> Dehydrated. Okay. Everything is fine, honestly. We have quite a bit of supplies to last us. Our previous expedition reported a strange vehicle nearby, and the last trip to the surface confirmed this. And the last trip to the surface confirmed this discovery. It's an armored and weaponized tank. No wheels, no gas, just wasting away out there. How about we turn it into an art project? I mean, we're slowly but surely building this tank. Why not? We haven't used the. Uh, we haven't used this anyway. Let's do it. Let's see it. I wanna. I wanna keep continue building the tank. What did we do? Okay. Bye bye bug spray. That's fine. Uh, who would have thought an expired bug spray can could produce such vibrant colors? The vehicle was sprayed, smeared with different liquids, and scribbled on. We might just be the pioneers of a wasteland culture. So eclectic, so bohemian. <laughs> they just drew some shit on the side. <laughs> I like that this is... St th there's like, a, like some permanent uh, <laughs> progression with this tank thing. 
Anyway, Ted and Dolores argue about everything. Oh my god. Today's heated argument is about who should empty the bucket in the corner. Both of them swear it's not their turn. Somebody has to cave in, but who? Okay, let's see. You're fatigued and tired. You're starving. Honestly, Ted. Ted should do that shit. Fuck that guy. He's probably gonna get sick again, though. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Ted. You... Dolores has done... A... Dolores did the... No, that was Timmy did the insane expedition. I'm sending Ted. It's Ted's turn. <laughs> Dolores is tired. We got a, another message. She just got a legendary beard, yo. Was he mad? Dolores admitted it was her turn to take out the bucket, but she said she was feeling a little under the weather. Ted felt bad for her and agreed to do it this time. In return, Dolores promised to laugh at Ted's joke for the whole evening. Hardwarming. Let's go. Uh, what the hell? All right, let's see. Thirsty. Thirsty. This is fine. Starving. Okay, we're still hanging in there. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? This single stupid map. <laughs> Mary Jane, I've got to become the Joker. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly, and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. Okay, we didn't want to do this. <laughs> We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there's something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. We need a map to establish where that is. God damn it! <laughs> it's, this game actually, like, does that, though, on purpose. What the fuck was that? I'm pretty sure the game, like, does some stuff like that, where it's like, oh, you're missing this? Let's make the event need that so you feel like, you feel like a piece of shit. We were sure we could find the location without the map, but you were wrong. What was that sound? Uh, dehydrated. Oh, God. Mary, you need to come back. Dehydrated. We're an isolated fallout shelter. We sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since dawn, and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor, and coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check what's going on. We cannot use the axe. Because we are gonna get bandits, and we don't have any defense for bandits. So we have to do it without the axe, and we'll just see what happens. We need to- this is our only defense. We don't have the harmonica, we don't have the lock, we don't have the gun. So we need to save it. And then, we don't do it, we can't- there's no option to not do this. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just- if someone gets eaten, someone gets eaten, because they're gonna get- someone is gonna get kidnapped by the bandits regardless. Did someone get sick from that? There's a crocodile. Oh, no, it was fine. We didn't lose anything. Going into a tight, dark tunnel. Oh, Dad was avoiding it. Okay, it's not a good idea, especially with those weird noises coming from it. They are giving us the creeps, even up here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, dehydrated. Okay, come on, Mary Jane, you have to come back. If you actually don't come back, next run, I'm not even taking you into the bunker. That's the second expedition where I send you with, like, four items, and your ass is not gonna do anything. <laughs> Like, she wasn't even hurt or injured at all. She was just chilling. <laughs> God damn it, dude. All right, dehydrated. This is all fine. We played a game of list the things you hate the most, and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that little that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now's the time to finally find out, but who will do the honors of stealing the possessions of our arch nemesis? So, just for the record, I need some tips here. Does this ruin the twins ending? Because I don't want to do it if it ruins the twins ending. Or does it does? So we shouldn't do it then. This is like our event to be evil. Okay, so we can't do it. It ruins it, then we can't do it. We're not going to do it. Because, I mean, the twins ending is very unlikely now that we don't have the map. But Or, yeah, because we needed the map, right? Everything stealing is related is bad for the twins. Okay, so we're not gonna do it. If this doesn't, I think it it seems like it would ruin it in my, uh, like my gut feeling. So let's just skip it. It would be good, but we actually have, it's just Mary Jane coming back. If Mary Jane doesn't come back, we're absolutely screwed. I mean, we're basically screwed. She needs to come back with a map. Knock, knock, knock. Okay, so we weren't evil this time. I think when there's a, a red hand here, it means you have been evil, which could have happened there. It said against that risky endeavor, even if it's safe, it's safe is intact. The contents are probably as boring and just as much of a waste of space as Ned was. Damn, dude. Um, are the doctors coming back? Wait. Yes, they did come back. He got healed. Nice. See, I told you that he would live. 
All right, uh, we're actually all somehow. How is this possible? Well, day 38, everyone's alive except maybe Mary Jane. Uh, we almost forgot about this one time. We shared some water with a group of people dressed in lab coats. Out of the blue, they came back today and administered us some very healthy looking shots. So they were real doctors after all, we think. Let's go, Timmy is alive. <laughs> nice. All right, just double checking. Okay, you're starving, we gave you water. All right, good stuff. Let's go, that's good. Now Mary Jane. Come on, she needs to come back. If she dies, I swear. <laughs> that would be so messed up. Knocking again? Uh, Dolores has not eaten. What's it knocking about? Thirsty. Hungry. Starving. Oh, come on. Now, let me guess. Tomorrow, Mary Jane's gonna come back with a map. <laughs> and the, with no food. So we're gonna slowly all die out before we can do this again. God damn it, man. We really needed this fucking map, bro. I don't think this is random. I, oh, she is actually coming back, though. Does she have a map? She doesn't have a map. We're so screwed. What ending can we even go for, man? Okay, but she did actually not break this, at least. She did break something. She broke the flashlight. Unfortunately, we could not... Oh, she got this, though. This can protect us against bandits. Unfortunately, we could not be of any help to them today. The siblings understood our situation and promised to come back from time to time. But they made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the service. We were about to give up and come back empty-handed to the shelter. When we ran into a church, it looked peaceful enough, save for an unexploded atomic bomb stuck in the church tower. A sizable group of people were busy praying to the bomb, chanting something about holy fission. <laughs> That sounded really crazy, but those people seemed friendly enough. Cultists decided they won't be needing any holy water. They did a bit of miracle work and turned empty wine bottles into quite full bottle water bottles. During the trip, we lit a fire to warm up a bit. It wasn't long before we had a few bandits standing next to our fireplace, demanding we give them all of our supplies. In a sudden rush of adrenaline, we decided to toss a few bullets into the fire. What followed was a barrage that sent those bastards running with their pants on fire in their haste they even forgot a few of their belongings let's go good job mary and we got this and ammunition we took with us yeah well you threw it in the fire obviously our flashlight is out of service okay might be paranoid but we're seeing someone follows okay so we don't have food now we need to send someone immediately there's no other option i know expeditions are risky now but we genuinely have to there's like no fucking way and we're gonna send timmy we have to send timmy he is our only hope <laughs> He's our only hope out there. At least we have a lot of water now, and food can be... Oh, food's gonna be a problem, though. All right, we need to. It has to happen. Knock, knock. The sound always surprises and confuses us, but it, it could mean anything, good or bad, but we're always curious. Should we open the door? I'm gonna do it, because we need to find some way to an ending. This might be bandits, but then we just stab them with the axe, right? We got it. We have to do something. <laughs> Come on. Please. What was it? Uh, did he steal our water? We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse. All right, then. Um, your everything. So we're going to send Timmy. We're going to send him hungry because we just have to. So he's going to take this. All right, let's see. Timmy, you need gas mask, maybe? What can we even give it to him? We give him the checkerboard, gas mask... And that's basically it, because we can't send... Like, the rest we need to keep. Radio? <laughs> we can't give him water. I mean, maybe he can trade it. But we need a lot of water. We're actually out of food, bro. Wait, how did we lose... Wait, oh, it's because it's here. I was like, how did we lose it? We could do the radio. <laughs> maybe he can trade it for something? Yeah, I guess we could give him the axe because we have the lock now. But we're going to get so banded attacked. All right, sure. We'll give him the axe so he can defend himself. And then hopefully he'll come back. We really need him to come back. Because the more we give him, the faster he comes back as well, right? I think that is how that works. It's fine. We have to do something, guys. <laughs> like, we have to do something. Uh, we can't just sit here and do nothing. And Timmy did a really good job last time. So whatever. Uh, time to ration supplies. Uh, hungry. Hungry. Dehydrated. Okay, water is fine. Good. Mary Jane was injured on the last expedition. She didn't mention it to us. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> well, she sucks anyway. <laughs> you fucking piece. This game actually trolls you so hard. Holy fuck, man. 
Are you kidding me? We did that's the only event in the entire playthrough that required the axe and it happened the second after we gave it up. Like what the game fucking knew, man. It was waiting for the moment. <laughs> Is she gonna be hurt now? Probably. <laughs> She's sick. Oh my god. Mary Jane will be fine. It's not the first time. And it will be the last time she's sick. She's looking a bit pale, though. Holy fuck. It's starving. Oh, come on. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh, dear. The pipe is leaking green goo. That is not good. Not good at all. We need to act now. And no one packed the mop. What do we do? Well, this is actually so stupid. The one... Why didn't this happen in the entire time that we had these things? Why does it happen now that we don't have them? <laughs> <laughs> That's so insanely annoying. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Are you kidding me? What happened? We couldn't figure it out, so we just assumed that's a regular pipe. That's what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decided to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today, though. Probably no connection to the pipe. None whatsoever. Is someone sick? Mary Jam was already sick, so I guess it didn't matter much. All right, let's see. You are dehydrated. Okay, we, we, can, we can hold out, maybe. Hey, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own Fallout garden. We've got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? We're gonna do it, because we don't have any food. So, let's let's hope. <laughs> this I've never done this event, but we need it, because we have food. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> like, we just gotta try random stuff. Wait, okay, so Dolores got sick, but hopefully it was... At least they were no longer... We learned something today. Tomato soup is our best friend and mushroom aren't it. Okay, well, unlucky. It, it happens. Like, we have to try. There's probably a random chance. All right, you're starving. You're starving. Yeah, we're so dead. <laughs> Come on. No. <laughs> it's actually so messed up that both the army and the twins required the exact same item. Like, I feel like there should... I guess it's just completely random. But they should spread this out so you don't... Like, we got... We were... We have somehow managed to keep everyone alive until like three days ago, everyone was in good condition too. Um, until day 45, but yet missing one single item because Mary Jane was an idiot and broke it, has completely soft locked our run. Like we couldn't do anything, like it's so annoying. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, we just, we had everything else. We just missed one item, which locked. No, Timmy died, he has so many items. <laughs> Fucking kidding me? Timmy! How? We're dead. <laughs> We're dead. Oh, uh, well, expedition time. Let's go. What's the worst I can have? Ah, oh, bandits at the door. Whoopty uh, whoopty. <laughs> Are you fucking joking? This is so. Dude, he had so many things. He missed. He lost four items. We have no supplies. <laughs> All right, well, we were able to fight them off. Uh, so the bandits were there. We fought them off with the bad log. Uh, let's see, who do we send out there? I guess we do Ted, because Ted's the only one not sick. So we'll give him food, we'll give him water, and we send him out there. Oh, well, I guess we save one. Is he dehydrated? I guess we save the water. Uh, and we give that to... You God damn it, dude. All right, uh, what do you take? Radio or water? Go with the radio. What's the worst that could happen? Are you serious? We have two items. We started with everything. We end with nothing. <laughs> All right. They're just both dead as hell. All right. Uh, well, Ted left for the service. We'll hope he comes back soon. You are hungry, thirsty. Okay, give it. Oh, a sleazy looking tree. Yeah, this is the cat event again. We're not going to do that because we don't have anything. Knock, knock. If there's a bandit now, we're screwed. Come on. Uh, our grandparents always told us to never buy anything sight unseen. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, is there a good event? Does anyone need food? Dehydrated? You, water is fine. It's, oh, no, you're starving. I don't have any food. Let me... So there's actually a chance if someone is starving that they will survive for quite a few days. I've had someone survive for like three days while being starving. The way the game's been going today, 
it's definitely gonna happen on the first day. Like the first roll is gonna be like a, a natural one right here, and we're gonna immediately get screwed. If Mary Jane just came back with a fucking map, we would have been fine here, and then we would have won the game. <laughs> I can't believe this shit, man. <laughs> okay, so what have we learned? We need to save more supply, more items. We need to save the map, we need to save the mech kit, and we need to save the axe. That's what we learned. Like, we cannot send these things out, because if they break, you can get locked in, like, days upon days upon days of not having enough stuff to do the events. It's so unfortunate. She is actually alive, though, somehow. I gave water. She's starving now, too. All right, everyone's gonna die. Uh, well, it's bandit time. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Did we get shot? Oh my god, Dolores got freaking murdered! <laughs> oh no, instead of murdering us all and robbing our supplies like we expected them to do, the bandits grabbed Dolores and pulled her out of the shelter, kicking and screaming, Damn you, bandits, Dolores will make you pay for this. We're sure of it. Jesus! Okay, well, Mary Jane's about to die, so... We're about to finish our dinner if we can't call it that. When we heard someone knocking on the door, it seems to be a trader who was very interested in ammunition. How about that? We don't have any ammunition because Timmy <laughs> died with it or something. Oh no, but Mary Jane lost it. Is she still somehow alive? I mean, let's go. Uh, well... I guess she is surviving. When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew out a route and marked a spot at the end of it. Don't just take the map. Maybe there are supplies hidden there. Yes, check it out, please. Come on. Knock, knock, knock. Is she alive? <gasps> you found a map. Oh my God, we did it. No way. Wait, she redeemed herself after all we've been through. Wait, wait, can we do it? I mean, she's dead, but maybe Tad can live. <laughs> <laughs> we were lucky to have spotted that map. The spot <laughs> marked a small hiding place and we found... I love that we used the map to find a map. What the fuck? What is this damn recursion side quest? Um, okay, well, you're super dead. <laughs> what? Offers one water? Okay, so we could have traded a bunch of water here, but we don't have anything. Why didn't you trade for... I mean, we didn't have anything, so there was no choice. She is so bye-bye. Oh! Break or use everything possible in your shelter achievement. Holy fuck, Ted! What? Look at the supplies he got! In the end, we decided our offers were not for us. Maybe if Mary Jane could survive one more day, he would have been fine. Or she would have been fine. Maybe another time if she ever comes back. Ted has safely returned from his voice to the service for all our daily bread and butter needs we always went to the small store next to the barbers they had the most amazing clerk who always asked us to come again we found it intact most food on the shelves was outdated and rotten a lot of eggs were smashed on the floor guess what soup cans don't expire until 2015 good for us four soup cans and four water we found a shelf with a big sign that reads everything for one dollar. The only thing left were bottles of water. Huh, expensive. There was a restroom in the back. Inside, we found a dead body next to a first aid box. Guess it didn't help. A gas mask was hanging from the wall. There was a sign next to it that read, is it safe? We shouldn't have taken that radio with us. We definitely should because we got so many things. Holy shit, he can make it. He's the only one alive, but he can make it. The bandits, though. The bandits are going to attack and kill him right away because we don't have any defense. No, <laughs> this is so tragic, dude. Do we? I mean, we heal him so he can fight off, right? We have to. Uh, starving. Okay. Let's see. We can't do an expedition. I mean, maybe so he's gone. No, we have to like just hope that the twins come back. Come on, twins. Don't. No bandits. Dude, this was such. This would have would be so clutch if we could actually do it. Look, okay, he's so he's totally fine. Wait, the cockroaches are back. <laughs> Remember those? Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes. An, wait, oh, there was a roach event. Oh, I guess we. Wait, huh? I guess I didn't see it. Fatigued, tired, thirsty, hungry. We should give him everything so he can maybe heal from tiredness. All right, we can't do that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no the most tragic death of all time dude no are you kidding me 
We were so close to victory. That was insane, bro. Oh, come on, man. That was still a really fun run, though. So many ups and downs. We almost made it in the end. Curiosity killed the cat, they say. All those expeditions we send out led a band of renegades to us. We had to yield, and our fate remains uncertain. We're not optimistic. The only law now is the law of the wasteland, and we're not going to benefit from that. Dude, MJ, if you didn't lose that damn map, we would have been fine. All right, so next time, what have we learned? Keep the map. Keep the med kit, keep the axe. If they ask for another thing <laughs> on the next expedition, I swear to God. All right, well, that was still a really good run, though. That was awesome. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, maybe we did too many expeditions, but I think we're playing it on super hard mode by, like, having four people. Having a few, le like, having only two people or three people might make it so much easier because you can you can like make the food last much longer right whereas now we are um spending so much food on keeping everyone alive but i still think that it's like the most fun way to play though Alrighty, well, that is going to be it for that run. We didn't manage to make it in the end, but oh boy, those runs were still absolutely amazing. And in the next video, we're going to use what we've learned in these last few runs to try and actually get the twins ending. Let me know what other endings you also want to see. We're obviously going to try and do the twins ending. I also want to try the cat ending. I want to see what happens when Mary Jane gets bit by a spider. And I know there are so many other crazy things that can happen in this game. So let me know what you want to see. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video like it if you just like it just like it and if you want to join the live streams you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instagram or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye